So, the Vapid Retinue and the Grossi Vision are the first two cards that have been released to us from the Smuggler's Run DLC this morning, along with some other unreleased cards that I'll be covering in a video later on today, so make sure you check back for that. But let's check out the customization on these two first, shall we? Alright, let's have a look what we can do with this thing. So, of course you've got all the normal armour things, nothing new there. Nothing new with the brakes either. Bumpers. So we've got five different bumpers. And obviously these are all styled in a, in a nice old school way. That's interesting. You've got like a, a roll cage type thing, but on the outside, I quite like that. Obviously the classic styles as well. Yeah. Not too many, but enough to make it make it unique, I guess. The rear bumper, you've just got the one, which removes the chrome. So yeah, not too bad. I think I'll leave the chrome on mine. Chassis. So this is the roll cage. You can put a full roll cage inside there, of course, being being the type of car that it is. Engine, all normal. Exhaust, so we've got five different exhausts. So we've got a dual on one side, big raced exhaust, big bore exhaust, and then that horrendous thing. Please don't put that on yours, otherwise it will be getting blown up. We'll go with the dual. Uh, let's see what we've got next. We've got fenders, so that's just the arch extensions. Yeah, something interesting, not not too too exciting, but you know, it's a, again, it's another unique option that we've got. A grill, so we've got four grills. It's not actually the grill, is it? Oh no, it is the grill. So two of them are actually more like a splitter, and then you've got one that changes the grill. So yeah, interesting. A chin spoiler, they call it. <laughs> uh, the hood, so you've got hood pins and carbon hood. Don't like carbon hood, that shouldn't be on that sort of car. The, the hood pins is alright, I can go for that. Uh, lights, obviously that's all normal. Liveries, liveries, interesting. We're going to do the liveries last, okay, actually. Uh, let's do the roof. So we've got a sunstrip, which I'm assuming is going to be based on a primary or secondary colour. So we'll put the sunstrip on and then we can see what it does. Skirts, so you've just got mud flaps. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I wouldn't expect big skirts on this sort of vehicle. So yeah, mud flaps is pretty nice. And I'm wondering if... Oh, they're, they're only black only, though. That's the only thing. That's a shame you can't change the colour of them. Spoilers. So you've got little ducktail spoilers, extended ducktail. They're all ducktail based, and then you've got a mid-level wing. So, yeah. I mean, again, you wouldn't expect anything else apart from that, really, with uh, with um, this sort of vehicle. So, full suspension, of course. Transmission, turbo. The stock wheels are pretty nice. I quite like them. I'm going to leave them as they are for now. And obviously windows. We're not going to put any tints on it. So right, let's go back to the colours. Um, well, what I want to do, I want to put a, where are we? We'll put a nice white on it, primary. Uh, in fact, no, we'll put a nice blue on it. Let's go for that blue, Saxon blue. And then secondary, we'll do white. If we find the white, the uh, ice white one there. And then let's see what the liveries do now. Uh, let's have a look. So we have... A nice stripe that goes all the way through the middle. We have a double double stripe. And then we're going into like team colours then. It's quite interesting. I do really like this. It's really like old school rally. That's interesting. I think we'll be able to do some good paint jobs with that. That, that looks pretty cool as it is actually. I like that. That is a nice one as well. Not in that colour but in um, on the Comic Retro you've got a very similar one and that's good. Uh, Ron Performance. I can imagine some people will be using that one. And then we have Retro Rally. Retro Rally is like quite nice as well. Stronzo Rally, which kind of looks a bit like the um, the the Tropos in terms of the colour scheme, etc. But yeah, I like that. Um, let's see. We're, we're going to go with that one, I think. That one looks the best with the colour I chose. But yeah, I pretty like this car. You know, there's not hundreds of different options, but there's enough to be able to make some quite interesting and unique ones, which kind of go back to the, uh, the styling that this car is based on. Um, so yeah, nice. So in terms of my first opinions on the car, based on a very quick blast around Los Santos, this isn't any sort of uh, testing or anything like this. It's just my first impressions based on the feel of it. Um, it is a fun car to drive, really fun car to drive. Because it's a uh, rear-wheel drive, the back end slides around a lot. Um, you know, it's got quite a short wheelbase, so it, it, it does handle really quite interestingly. Um, and I think you could have some fun races with it. My gut feel is it's probably not going to be like top car pace but you wouldn't really expect it to be honest you know when you look at the, the, the top cars you have in the sports classics class this is not that sort of car it's not aimed at that sort of uh, a performance window i would say 
But yeah, I think it's a really interesting car to drive, and uh, I think the customizations that we've got for it, along with the way it drives, um, it would be an interesting buy for people um, if, you, if you're into that sort of thing, to be honest. Alright, let's have a look what we can do with the Vision, or Vizi One, however you pronounce it. So, armor, of course, brakes, of course, bumpers, let's have a look. So we've got primary with like an asset accent on it. You've got different secondary color splitters there as well. Then you've got some carbon effects. They seem to like their carbon effects these days. We'll go with carbon. It's got some natural carbon around the side there from the look of it. So it kind of goes rear bumpers. So we've got quite a lot of rear bumpers on here, which I wasn't expecting. So that one removes the number plate at least. That's nice. And then you've got primary and secondary again. Added fins. Oh, okay, so you get some more fins in the diffuser there. Looks a bit over the top, that, I think. Uh, added fin. And then you can change the color of that again. So... Not huge differences, but some minor ones. Um, but the, the, the removing of the number plate is quite nice. It's quite nice you can see the engine kind of wearing around there as well. That's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, engine, that's normal. Exhaust. So we have... Uh, wow, it's like a tank. They've really gone for these big exhausts recently. Gold triple exhaust. No, we're not going to go for that. Let's go for that one. That's probably the least understated of the lot. Hood. So hood pins, don't think they go with this sort of car. Then you've got secondary or carbon. Not too exciting, I guess. It, it, it's it's a couple of options. Uh, lights, obviously we're going to put neon, uh, Xeon headlights on this one. Uh, li liveries on this as well. Okay, we'll go through the liveries at the end again like we did the last one. Spoilers. So, wow, okay. So you've got a little tiny spoiler there. And then, of course, you've got the big racing wings. They are horrible. I do not like them at all. And I definitely don't like that one. I mean, we'll go with that one. Interestingly, it isn't actually changing the traction bar because this is a downforce vehicle, so uh, from what I understand. Suspension, of course, we'll put that all the way down. Uh, turbo, transmission. We, the, the stock wheels are quite nice, and they have white around the tyres, which is a little bit unusual. I'm not sure I like the white around the tyres, actually, but the rest of it's all right. And, of course, tints. So that's it. All right, let's have a look at the actual respray, then. So with this one, what we'll do... Is we'll go for uh, we'll go for a red colour. I think it suits red being a being a grotty and all. So we'll go for that Torino red. So that's the primary. What's the secondary do? Uh, so the secondary is only doing the like the mirrors and stuff like that. Should we put them as a white for now? That looks alright, yeah. So it's doing the mirrors and the accents around the bumpers and that sort of stuff. Alright. And then let's have a look at the liveries now. So What's that one doing? Okay, so that was just putting in. That's quite cool. Just like a nice Italian flag, like the grotty theme down the middle of it. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Classic fins. Classic green stripe. So that's uh, changing that there and having like a green stripe down it. Pretty interesting. Black gills. What's black gills doing? What is that doing? Oh, I see. Right. So it's just putting the, um, the, the black inside the door inserts there. Classic red stripe, so you've got like red and red down the middle there and black. It doesn't show up as well because obviously the car's red. Sports grey, not sure I like that. The yellow one it's quite interesting actually, but I'm not sure I like the grey. Maybe if you put it with the right colour it would look quite good. And then you've got some proper racing liveries then. So that white one looks quite good with the red considering the, the white secondary we went for with the accents. Unlucky for some, number 13. So that's put some nice white outlining around everything. Looks like the white was a good colour to go for by pure coincidence. And then Team Fly US, so that's like a blue. Got some nice liveries on this. I quite, I, I, I like the fact they're giving us liveries. I'm surprised they have because it's not really a race car styling. But it is quite interesting, the liveries they've given us. So yeah, I like that. So in terms of how the car handles, and based on my first impressions of driving it around Los Santos, I mean, it handles quite well, I think. It sticks to the road reasonably well. The back end can be a little bit loose sometimes. Um, seems to have quite good acceleration as well. But this isn't any form of proper testing. I will do some testing of it at some point. Um, but yeah, I, I think it, I quite like it. I'm not sure it's going to be right up there on top supercar pace, but it, it, it's definitely a reasonable car, to buy, I would say. Um, but yeah, so that's my first impressions of the first two cars. These are the two that have been released. I will be back a little bit later on today with the cars that have been unreleased that will obviously be drip fed to us by Rockstar over the coming weeks. So make sure you subscribe to them if you haven't done already. Um, but thank you very much to you guys for tuning in, and I will be back again soon.